Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got some big news. The summer event is finally here, or almost. So this is the summer extreme summer event, and pretty much it'll act like almost every other summer event. So in this instance, we have four rewarded vehicles. So we have the PZSP WG P204 FKWK, the HMS Renown TT CV 105 HP, and the SU 25 BM being German, British, Swedish, and Russian in that order. Now this runs from the 8th of August at 11 GMT to the 28th of August at 11 GMT. So it'll be about a 20 day event. And uh, even though it's not quite here right now as I speak, it will be here in just a few days. And that's what the entire point of this video is. I will be going over pretty much, hopefully everything that you need to know in order to succeed in this event. So in short, these are the main rewards as I stated, but you will also be able to get a few different prizes as well throughout your journey, including these sick decals, the uh, BMX decoration, jet ski naval decoration, Decoration and player icon which is cool as well as some cool camouflages for the vehicles that you can unlock as well so with all that said I'm just going to go over the vehicles really quickly because of course Gaijin did not release these devlogs more than a few minutes ago so it is worth it to know exactly what you're going to be unlocking during this event so let's start with the lowest level reward the PZ SPWG P204 F KWK this is a rank 1 German vehicle it is a premium, but basically what this is, it's a captured AMD 35, which is a French vehicle, and it has a slightly different, well, very different turret. It's an open top kind of tank destroyer-ish turret, plus the 50 millimeter KWK. So I'm expecting this to be a 1.0, 1.3 BR vehicle, and that is it. So this 50 millimeter cannon, if I'm not mistaken, is on things like the Panzer 3F. So it should be pretty effective, especially if it can use that APCR ammunition, which will make it a bit up terrible. But typically the standard ammunition is more than sufficient and is its best type of ammunition. Now this will be able to go over 70 kilometers per hour on paved road, which is fantastic. But of course, it's not really anything more than again, a slightly or a very modified rather AMD 35 so you can expect AMD 35 gameplay when it comes to the mobility plus I guess German firepower so that said let's get to the HMS Renown this is pretty much the top level reward that you're going to be getting for naval it is an event vehicle which means that this is not going to be premium which means that it will not give you premium rewards now this has 381 millimeter main guns it is a battle cruiser which is fantastic kind of like an in-between between a battleship and a cruiser that makes any sense because of the name which means that will have little protection but very similar firepower to a battleship that's kind of the whole idea behind a battle cruiser and it is faster so that's what this is pretty much it just is the 1944 upgrade which is great so instead of 102 millimeter cannons you have 114 millimeter cannons you have 40 millimeter pom-poms 20 millimeter uh, twin barrel anti-aircraft or dual purpose guns 1400 me uh, men crew so this will be a very very good vehicle but a glass cannon will probably be something that you can maneuver around very well you just don't hope that you get hit while firing with it. So next up, we have the Patria CTCV 105 HP Tank Destroyer. This is a rank six Swedish light tank event vehicle. And again, because this is an event vehicle, it'll be the same as the other vehicle that I will mention in this. Event vehicles do not get premium bonuses, unfortunately. So you will have to grind through this and it will not give you anything special when using it. Now that being said, this is a 105 millimeter equipped vehicle and is very interesting. I don't think Sweden has anything quite like this yet. Uh, well, not exactly like this, but the cannon is from the premium CV90105 XC8, which means that it will be able to fire these same shells, which are fantastic, and it has an autoloader with 12 shots, which means that if this has the same exact cannon as that and the same exact autoloader as the XC8, this thing will be an 
absolute powerhouse and you can expect it to be give or take around 10.0 br now it will be of course extremely fast it has more than 105 horsepower that's not what the 105 hp means uh so it will be able to be very very fast it's got a very good power to weight ratio and will be pretty damn nimble now it has thermal smoke grenades recon of course everything that you want and pretty much what this sounds like it's going to be is going to be the CV90105 XC8, but on wheels. So it will be very, very good. And if you don't have the money or you just don't care to get that vehicle, the CV90105 XC8, you can pretty much get it here with the summer event for free. So go ahead and do that. And then finally, we have the SU25BM558 ARZ. This is a rank seven event aircraft, again, non-premium that you will be able to get with the Russian Air Force's tech tree. And pretty much what this is, is going to be the SU-25T or SU-39, except, get this, it's got R-73s. That's right, we are getting R-73s, which is fantastic. Hopefully that means that those are coming to the SU-39T, or the SU-39 and the SU-25T, which would be fantastic and make those playable, but this will get R60Ms and R73s, which is just great. Now, bear in mind, you will get the R60Ms to start, being that this is not premium, it will not be fully unlocked once you get it, and you will have to work for those R73s, but it will still be fantastic. Now, I'm assuming that these are going to have pretty much the same exact armor, uh, the engines, the armor-piercing, penning capabilities with the weapons and all that, as the SU-39 and 25t but of course where this at least for now kind of differs is that this will have access to the r73 so very very cool now let's get into the rest of the summer event so pretty much the way that this has always been done is the way that this will be done here you have tasks right so basically one through ten that you can complete and basically, if you play aircraft, you complete the task stars that you get for the aircraft. For tanks, of course, you get the tank ones done. For naval, you get the naval ones done. Pretty darn simple. And these are com more or less completed every two days. So this is, you know, once these two days are up, you go over to the next one and to the next one, to the next one, so on and so forth. So bear that in mind. Very, very important to note because once the, the two-day period for getting a task is complete... You cannot earn it, which means that you will anything that you do during gameplay will not go towards one that you failed to get in the past. Now you can purchase marks of distinction. So each one of these task stars for 999 golden eagles. So if, for example, you missed one in the past and you want to get it, you can get the marks of distinction. So as you can see with aircraft, you only get the SU-25 BM after getting eight of these stars. They do not have to be completed consecutively. So let's say, for example, you get the first test star, you skip out in the second, but then you get all the rest of them. You'll basically be able to get the SU-25 BM where I guess the ninth test star would be available, if that makes any sense, because at that point you will have eight because you skipped out on the second one. But again, that's just kind of the total. Now, once you unlock something, for example, and this is a question I get all the time, like let's say, for example, once you unlock the test star, the fourth task star for the PZ SPWG P204 FKWK, it doesn't mean that you give up all four of your task stars. That's just basically the rank of reward. Imagine this almost like a battle pass, right? This is level four. Just because you reach level four doesn't mean that you can't get level five, six, seven, eight. You will be able to get these. You need basically to complete eight task stars, and you're not trading in each task star in order to get a separate uh, reward. So bear that in mind, that is not going to happen. But as you can see, I mean, there are trophy rewards, decal rewards, dessert spoon for ice cream bucket, and I'll go over this real soon, but pretty basic stuff. Now, this is what's inside the trophies. Again, pretty basic what you're going to get. These are the decals I mentioned before that you'll be able to unlock. These are randomly given. So for example, just because you get to anyone who gets the second rank, of this basically you're not necessarily going to get the same decal that everyone else is getting it's just randomly given out until you get the final decal which is pretty cool now each task is given by earning 40,000 points in random battles in rank 3 or higher although you can use rank 1 event vehicles in order to complete this but the thing is 
is that the higher level of vehicle, so the higher rank your vehicle is, that means that the more points that you'll be unlocking in each of these. So it has a higher score multiplier. So for example, uh, let's just say if rank five was a one times multiplier, so that's like the base. That means that if you get 1000 score in your match, you'll get 1000 mission points and that's it. But let's say if for example, you used a rank seven, and the multiplier is now like 1.15 times, and you're playing it in RB, which is like a 1.3 times, you'll be getting more than a thousand points, right? Like you'll probably be getting something like 1300 or 1400 points, depending on how exactly they're going to do that. Whereas if you use a rank three tank, for example, in AB, you'll probably have a negative multiplier, which means that if you had 1000 score in an AB match and it was a rank three vehicle, let's just say that was times 0.8, and it was AB, which typically carries a lower multiplier in and of itself as well, you'll probably get something like 750 score. So again, it really depends on exactly what you're doing. And oftentimes, even if you do better in a lower ranking AB match, you won't get as many points as you would if you do slightly worse in a higher ranking RB map. And you get more points typically for naval, and then AB is second with tanks being third. So naval, air, and then tanks. Those are the from top to worst typically in how their multipliers are scored. And uh, so just bear that in mind. And also RB typically scores higher than AB and higher ranks score better than lower ranks. So very, very important to note. Now, next up, as I mentioned before, we have the ice cream bucket. This is pretty much just going to be able to give you previously unlockable vehicles and things of that nature that you could get from the past. So it's pretty damn cool. Uh, but again, these are going to be very expensive. Typically, the buckets cost 10,000 SL, whereas the deserts or dessert spoons rather cost 50,000 SL. So you really have to bear that in mind. This is going to be a very expensive way to get, and I quote, unique decals, decorations, vehicles, and camouflages from all past summer events. So trust me when I say this, the odds to get anything beyond just silver lines or even a backup are negligible i probably opened up five six maybe even 700 of these and i have yet to unlock a, even a camouflage let alone a vehicle so it's not going to be a very easy thing for most people and being that these cost essentially 60,000 sl combined you are talking probably tens of millions of sl before you even unlock a camouflage oh and these are previously unlockable things that you can get with this so I guess that's kind of cool. And of course, being that you can unlock all summer events from the past, you can get the IS-7, which is really cool. You can get the Puma, you can get this thing, you can get the P-59, which is a really, really cool vehicle, but they are increasing its BR bear that in mind. And of course, I believe was at the IJN Haruna, which is cool, but this is pretty much the entire list of vehicles that you can get, which is pretty damn nifty if you ask me. Now it says the chances of receiving IS-7 are far lower than the other vehicles and are around 0.001%. So that was at like one ten thousand, I think. So it's uh, not very good at all. And these are the camouflages that you can get. So it's, uh, yeah, th this is pretty much everything that you can get. Now bear that in mind because the final part of the video is here detailed terms and basically you can see exactly where you need each task to be in nickname achievements summer extreme window which is cool again i mean you can read through all this again you need rank three and above vehicles if you're going to be using premium or regular vehicles but event vehicles can be rank one and above but again you have to remember that the lower rank your vehicle is the lower multiplier and the less points that you're going to be getting for all of this now the top three rewards so the highest three rewards are going to be given as coupons, which means that you can sell them on the marketplace, but only, only after getting rank 10. So that is extremely important in each of these. So if you get the SU25 BM, for example, you will get the coupon, but the only way that you can put this on the marketplace is if you get the rank 10. 10 of it so you have to remember that and again if you miss a rank you can purchase it with 999 golden eagles 
which isn't terrible in my opinion, but it's also a little bit rough. With all that being said, that's about it. Again, remember, this starts on August 8th at 11 GMT and runs for 20 days for uh, until August 28th. Oh, and one really important thing to note here, you can purchase the Marks of Distinction for a few days after the event technically ends until August 31st, 2023. I'm assuming also at 11 GMT, so you have about three days after the event ends in order to purchase the tasks if you miss them with Golden Eagles. But either way, thanks so much for watching. Please, if you don't mind, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And on the 8th, I will be opening up traditionally, as you guys might know probably a whole bunch of the uh ice cream buckets with the dessert spoons i'll probably be doing something like 50 maybe up to 100 but we'll have to wait and see how spicy i'm feeling that day but either way thanks again and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone and good luck in the event